This video will contain spoilers from the One Piece manga You Have Been Warned. Now from the very moment we got the reveal for Luffy's true devil fruit, I've been pondering over one particular question for quite a long time and that has something to do with the relation between the concept of freedom introduced in One Piece and the object known as devil fruit. Now this all comes back to the concept of freedom and how Luffy is basically a manifestation or rather a representation of this particular thought. Luffy wants to be the pirate king but he doesn't want to rule over anyone. He just simply wants to be the freest man alive. And that is supplemented by his devil fruit which has rubber properties and now with the new context in hindsight with the sun god Nika or rather the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika we know that Luffy's rubber body is supplementing his thoughts and processes over freedom but with the reveal of all of these things i've been pondering over one particular question again and again and that is what is the biggest hindrance or the biggest hurdle for Luffy's freedom or rather Luffy's road to freedom and it all comes back to his devil fruit ironically enough because he himself is a devil fruit user and the biggest obstacle or the biggest you know setback in his journey to become the pirate king is his inability to swim that's a proven fact in the world of one piece that whoever is a power user whoever is a devil fruit user they lose the ability to swim we have accepted this as a fact we have accepted this as a notion for the world building as a power scaling in order to make the devil fruits not too op we have understood this and accepted this right from the very starting of the series and luffy himself is a very big example for it because even though he wants to be the pirate king he literally can never actually swim in the ocean which is a big 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 hindrance for his road towards freedom it's something which he can't do he literally cannot do he is actually going to die if he is thrown into the water into the ocean for a very long time so this brings me back to my original question why why even have such a big demerit in the very first place why is such a huge disadvantage ingrained into the devil fruits well i know i know this is simply a theory of mine in fact a very far fetched theory and there is literally no guaranteed explanation or guaranteed supposition that this is actually going to happen in the series but hey this is a theory at the end of the day this is just my personal opinion so what if imu sama himself somehow back in the road back down the road cursed the devil fruits and not just any devil fruit but rather the original devil fruit because hey the identity the true identity of imu sama is still a huge huge mystery it's probably one of the biggest mysteries of one piece out there who exactly this guy is or who exactly this creature is how old he or she is it's still a very big mystery and personally if you want to ask me i'd say that this character is actually quite old in fact this character might be older than 800 long years he sits at the top of the world government he is the person behind the scenes who is running all of these things and what if he was actually responsible for the downfall of nika in the very first place he manipulated things from behind the scenes and he somehow has the ability or he somehow had the power to curse the original devil fruit we know that the devil fruits have to arise from some particular tree and this goes back to the theories of even adam trees and even the banyan tree I have made videos upon all of those things so links are in the description below and also on the i button above you can go and watch them but basically what if emu who is a very old character actually cursed the original devil fruit or rather the original devil fruit tree and as a direct result of it all the devil fruits that we see today have this huge demerit in them which is making the body of its wielder not able to withstand the ocean basically they are going to drown if they are thrown into the water they cannot swim at all this might be a curse which has been incurred upon by imu sama himself for various different reasons it could be something which has to do with the void century and the history of the world government it might be something which has got a lot to do with the d clan with the will of d and in fact the celestial dragons themselves who knows this is at the end of the day simply my personal theory and opinion but i also want to know your thoughts about all of these things what do you guys think about this theory please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more this is wonderwise see you all on the next one